Hey, it's Joe from Amber again, and if you caught my last video on halftone patterns and how they are used to make up gradients in photographs and images, you'll want to tune in to this video about when halftones go wrong. Today's video is about moiré patterns. Moiré patterns are optical illusions arising from the interference of two or more parallel lines. The name comes from the French word watered because the patterns often resemble watered silk, seen here. Moiré patterns can be seen in many objects, such as the folds of a fabric, the lines on a TV screen, or the grooves on a record. Moiré patterns are formed when two sets of parallel lines or dot patterns are not perfectly aligned. The misalignment causes the grid to interfere, creating a new inconsistent pattern of light and dark bands. The size and spacing of the moiré pattern depend on the relative alignment of the two sets of lines. Moiré patterns are not typically a preferred result in the screen print industry. They often are unpredictable and create undesired effects. They typically occur when the angle of the dots fall in that little sweet spot where just a few degrees off of the mesh control angle. Moiré patterns can be created by superimposing any two patterns that have a regular repeating structure. In this case, I'm showing you what happens when a given pattern is just a few degrees off from the control set pattern. The size and spacing of the Mori pattern depend on the relative alignment of the two patterns. Mori patterns can measure distances, detect motion, and create decorative patterns. Mori patterns are used in various scientific and engineering applications such as microscopy, lithography, and material science. Thank you so much for learning with me today. This is Joe with Amber Creative. Please hit like and subscribe for more nerdy fashion content and fashion to the people.